Wow, it's beautiful. Tucked in amongst the Navy ships and state ferries being worked on in Port Gardner Bay, one boat hits a high water mark. Well, what goes through your mind when you look at this thing? Well, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> the Amadea is 348 feet long and valued at about $325 million. It holds 16 guests, 36 crew members, a helipad, infinity pool, and multiple bars. Some you'd see in Monte Carlo. The boat belonged to a Russian oligarch named Suleiman Karimov and was seized by authorities in Fiji at the behest of the U.S. government. The superyacht brings with it a certain amount of international intrigue. Karimov is accused by the U.S. government of money laundering and corruption around the world. Who knows where it's been? You never know what goes on those things, you know. That's where the Bond villain jet skis fly out of. The seizure comes as America tightens sanctions against those closest to Russian President Vladimir Putin to pressure Moscow into halting its war in Ukraine. What did he do to get that money? I think that's what the U.S. government said. <laughs> the ship had been in San Diego for the past year and is now being serviced by Everett Ship Repair, which specializes in large watercraft. Reuters reports American taxpayers are spending more than $600,000 a month, $7 million a year, to maintain the super yacht. I think of what that thing costs to maintain, I don't need that. A boat is what? A hole you pour money into. Some are just bigger than others. Others, yeah. yeah. The, the hole's deeper. The feds want to auction the vessel off, but another Russian has come forward saying the boat actually belongs to him. American authorities believe he's lying for Karamov. Our tax dollars at work. Once work here is done in Everett, we're told the boat will likely make its way down to Seattle. We're not sure exactly why or for how long, and we're still waiting to hear from the judge as to whether he will allow it to go up for auction. Live on the Everett waterfront, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.